So the headlock position is kind of one of those positions that you just end up out of chance. It's not necessarily one that I would choose to go to. Now, a lot of times if I do like hip toss or something, you're gonna end up in this headlock position. I prefer to utilize this as more of an in-between position just because one, you don't have a ton of options, but two, you can get out of position very quickly, especially if this guy's putting up a big fight. So if you get to the headlock position and you just wanna move right away, you can easily just turn into the person and start coming right back up into side control. If he really starts pressuring up very quickly, I can stuff that arm and come all the way around to the back, look to you know get seatbelt grip, get gift wrap position, or you stop halfway and just stay in north-south. Now, that being said, there are options from here, and the main option that I tend to look for is an Americana lock. However, if you are feeling to be a bit more of a meathead, there is a good pressure submission that you can get from here. You're not really gonna be choking the person, you're just putting a ton of pressure down on their diaphragm and their solar plex that essentially is gonna wanna make them tap to begin with. So when you are in this headlock position, one thing that I will do, again, keeping a nice tight grip, I wanna make sure that I do have this arm tucked up pretty heavy. So I can either pull up on the tricep and pull up on the head at the same time, or simply just lock my hands together. But pretty much what I'm looking to do is post my feet, get my hips off the mat and as I pressure down I'm also ripping him up at the same time while squeezing as much as I possibly can so squeeze elevate your hips drive your hips or drive your chest and shoulder down into him and just pull him up as much as you possibly can and pretty much I'm just gonna hold that position until he feels like tapping if he doesn't tap either way it's gonna drain him and then if anything as soon as I release that pressure I can just let the pass right away so you can just utilize that of simply just being an asshole and I'm just gonna put a ton of pressure and pass as it is, or you're potentially gonna get a tap out of it. There are two submissions that you can hit from this position, one being an arm bar potentially, and one being an Americana. Now, ideally, I wanna go for the Americana just because it is a bit more painful in this position. However, to get to that, I will utilize the arm bar. Now, when I'm in this position, I wanna make sure again that I got my thigh tucked underneath this tricep, and a lot of times to secure this, I will take that hooking arm and just trap it to the inside of my thigh. Now, when I'm going for the arm bar, I'm literally just going to peel back on his arm and start pushing straight down. And as I start pushing straight down, I'm looking to take that outside leg and simply trap it from here with the elbow trapped inside my groin. And as I start putting pressure, you can potentially get the arm bar from there. However, understand that this is more of a difficult position to get into, but again, I can utilize this simply just kind of as a in between position, I'm just locking on the arm. Maybe I'm catching my breath and trying to realize what I want to do next. But again, I want the Americana. Now, the idea with the Americana is that you push the arm obviously straight down and I'm gonna take the near side leg and hook it overneath the top of the wrist. And you can already see that he's starting to feel the pressure a little bit. Now the goal is, is that as I hip into it, I'm also pulling back with my foot at the same time, essentially dragging his arm across the mat. Now. This is a hard position to get you out of the gate, especially if this guy's strong because he's gonna start muscling this. So what I'll tend to do is actually direct his energy away from me, hoping to get the arm bar. Now, once he feels that I have the arm bar, a lot of times guys are gonna start pulling that arm back. That is what I'm looking for. And when I feel him pulling his arm back, I'm going to do a quick release and catch. And now I pretty much just force his own arm or he forces his own arm into the Americana. And then again, I put the pressure and we get the tap from there. So if you are ending up in this headlock position, again, whether it's from a takedown or a scramble and you end up here, options are either to just immediately pressure back into them, lift up the arm and we get the side control north south or all the way around to the back, or right away, get the leg up, start applying pressure on this arm bar with the hopes that either you can finish with the arm bar or that we can catch the Americana, rip it back and break some shoulders. Give it a shot.